Hi, I'm Maya from Book Room Dreams and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to talk about my Paranormal Romance TBR. Paranormal Romance is a readathon that's happening from October 30th to November 6th. I found out about this readathon by watching Riley Marie's video where she read four paranormal romances in a week in or in a day or over the weekend. Anyway, I'll link the video somewhere uh, here and down below. Uh, so uh, in the uh, comments of her video, she pinned that there is a paranormal romance readathon. I was like, what? I used to read paranormal romance when I was in college. I read the Suki Stackhouse series. I read Ilona Andrews. I read a bunch of them. And this seemed like a very fun idea and a fun way to get back so a little bit into that uh, genre. So uh, this readathon is hosted by a bunch of people. I will leave the links. I will list their names here and leave the links to the announcement video and uh, anything, any important information down below in the description box. Now, this readathon has a group book and it's uh, called The Power of Hades by Eliza, uh, Eliza Rain and Rose Wilson. There is also a bingo card with nine prompts and I use those prompts to make up my TBR for that week. So let's just go through the prompts and I will tell you what I picked for each prompt. Uh, so the first prompt is novella and for that I picked The Power of Hades which is also the group book and in this book we follow a girl who she's you know in lives in the modern world I guess and one day she gets kidnapped by Zeus uh, to compete in the competition to become the ruler or wife of Hades I guess of the underworld basically so that's Hades so this uh, the story is a sort of retelling of the Hades and Persephone Persephone story so that should be fun um, basically yeah it's just under 200 pages that's why it's a novella I also picked that book for fated mates uh, trope because apparently it fits I listened to uh, watch the videos for all the other um, hosts of this readathon and while they were talking about the book they said that it fit that prompt so I believe them and, uh, you know, that's, I have that book for another prompt. Uh, another prompt that book covers is indie authors. You're supposed to read a paranormal romance by an indie author. So that three, those three prompts are just one book, which is awesome. <laughs> the next prompt is vampire romance. And for that, I picked No Rest for the Wicked by Cressley Cole. This is book two in her, I think, Immortals After Dark, Dark series, in which we follow basically a group of valkyries their sisters i guess and you know each book is about another sister and their paranormal romance with another member of the supernatural community so in the second book we follow a vampire guy he's like um uh, he's a vampire soldier he hates that he's a vampire he's all torn up about it until he meets uh one of the valkyrie sisters i don't remember i don't know her name and together they go on uh like a treasure hunt to find a mystical artifact or something so um yeah and you know during that time he wants to fuck her and she doesn't want to do that so i guess there's things happening he's trying to seduce her the entire time so it should be fun um the next prompt is has an animal so this can be either a, a animal companion or any shifter romance and for that i picked mating the huntress by talia hibbert uh basically we follow a werewolf who like there's a trope about werewolves that they have the, their mates. So he, uh, I guess, smells his mate or something, discovers that his mate is this girl who works in a coffee shop. And, you know, he basically visits the coffee shop for a month to, to uh, you know, have get the courage to ask her out. And he asks her out and she says yes. And the thing is that the girl in this coffee shop is from a family of werewolf hunters. And uh, she basically the reason she uh, agreed to the date is to kill him. And then stuff happens. Uh, Riley Marie read this one in her video and and she had a great time reading it. I was like, I'm putting this in the cover. I'll, I'll put the cover here. It's kind of awesome. So I'm looking forward to reading that one. Should be fun. Uh, the next prompt is LGBTQ. As for that, I picked The Enforcer Enigma by G.L. Carriger. This is book four in her oh, Omega something um, series, which basically you follow a pack of werewolves that moved... Um, into uh i think it's san francisco somewhere in the bay area because they're the first uh or an only pack there and uh so we follow each of the members of the pack as they have their own romance so basically it's an m m m male male romance so uh 
I gave the rest of the books in the series like four stars because they're such fun. And I was looking forward to this one when I saw the prompt. I was like, oh, I wonder if the book came out. So and it did. So yay, <laughs> get to read it. It's going to be awesome. Uh, the next one we have Angel Romance. For that, I picked uh, Angel's Blood by Nalini Singh. Uh, this is a book that also fits the prompt published before uh, 2010, because I think this was published in 2008 or 2009. Uh, so basically, this is a paranormal romance where we follow our main character. Uh, she's a vampire hunter. And in this world, vampires are basically uh, servants of uh, angels and archangels. And there's this whole badass archangel. I think it's Raphael. I think it's him. Basically, nobody wants to you know, deal with him because he's ruthless and everything. And he hires our main character uh, to deal with um, a bad archangel. And so together they have to, I guess, figure something out. And there's no like room for failure and stuff. And, you know, it's like an enemies to lovers trope, which I enjoy. So it should be an interesting read. Uh, and the last prompt, Dark in the Title. So a book with Dark in the Title. For that, I picked Taste of Darkness by K.T. Reyes. Um, this is a book two in... The darkness series and i have checked you don't have to read book one to read this one so basically we follow a dragon shifter so a dude who shifts into a dragon and he's been locked away for many many years and he was um saved or i guess released from his uh, prison by this girl and uh, their friends and she's helping him adjust to modern life and then you know he's madly in love with her and he loves her and everything and so i guess we follow their relationship as it moves from friendship to to um you know stevie or stuff so yeah i'm looking forward to this readathon it's gonna be a fun week uh if you're participating do let me know uh you can uh talk to me down in the comments we do have our socials down below in the description box uh and what else yeah all the other important links are in the description thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye